Hi, my name is Ryan Smith, and I'm an application scientist for Perkin Elmer. Here we have the Spectrum 2N FTNIR instrument. This instrument is a, a combination of technologies that Perkin Elmer has developed over the years, wrapped up in a relatively small footprint package. This instrument is a dedicated single range instrument, meaning it performs measurements in the near infrared spectral range. And the system, uh, like our other FTIRs, can be equipped with a, a relatively broad range of sampling accessories to meet a variety of measurement uh, challenges. So here we have the heated transmission module. This is an accessory that would be used for analysis of liquid samples, uh, whereas the system, as equipped here on the bench, has a NERM accessory, which is a diffuse reflectance accessory. So again, these accessories are interchangeable. And the Spectrum 2N FTIR benefits from many of the technologies that we have employed over the years, including uh, the DynaScan interferometer. The DynaScan interferometer changes the optical path difference through the system for sake of measurement of the interferogram. But unlike traditional interferometers, this system employs a two mirror arrangement. These two mirrors are cemented on a pivoting assembly which rotates to change the optical path difference. Now this design is unique in that it does not employ a linear translating mirror. The linear translating mirror design is subject to effects that are referred to as tilt and shear. Tilt and shear, uh, simply put, are effects of misalignment which compromise the quality of spectral measurement. Now the DynaScan interferometer, because it employs the pivoting mirror pair, is immune to the effects of tilt and shear. These mirrors are actually fixed to that pivoting assembly, so there's no potential for misalignment. The Spectrum 2N also benefits from our optics guard technology, which provides a very high lifetime of the desiccant, which protects optical components which are critical to the operation of the FTNIR. The desiccant lifetime is extended so much by this technology that we actually warranty the desiccant for three years from the factory, though many customers in the field have achieved desiccant lifetimes extending beyond six or seven years. Now in terms of near-infrared measurement, there are some critical differences from mid-infrared measurement in terms of how the measurement is actually performed. In the near-infrared spectral range, measurement can actually be performed through glass, allowing measurement of samples through vials such as this, or in certain examples when working with very non-uniform materials, samples will actually be tested through a relatively small dish. For sample measurement, the sample can be placed on the optical port so as with other FTIR measurements, the measurement actually occurs in two distinct steps. The first step being a background measurement, the second step being the sample measurement. When employing the NERM diffuse reflectance accessory, this measurement actually occurs back to back automatically. So the system performs the background measurement using an internal reference material and then diverts the near infrared beam towards the upper optical port on the accessory, allowing measurement of the sample. Let's try this out. Once we have our sample information entered in the software, we press the scan button. The software provides us with the option of viewing a preview, which will show the near infrared spectrum as measured in real time. If the sample is positioned correctly, we will see a usable near infrared spectrum. Once we're happy with this, we can press the scan button again, at which point we will go from the preview to measuring and saving the sample spectrum. A near infrared instrument such as this is typically used for testing of incoming raw materials, which are used in a variety of products, whether they be pharmaceutical, personal care products, or food products. When testing raw incoming materials, typically the test sample spectrum is compared against a relatively small targeted database of spectra which the user has collected, representing known good reference materials. To perform this sort of comparison in the software, we will simply click the compare button. The software will then automatically go into the reference spectra which the user has saved and perform a correlation calculation between the measured test sample spectrum and the reference spectrum which was previously measured. Here we see that our correlation is 0.996, showing that our best match 
is for caffeine. This tells us that the sample in the vial is in fact caffeine because the correlation value is very high. I hope you found this video to be informative. If you'd like more information about Perkin Elmer's Spectrum 2N FTNIR instrumentation or any of our other product offerings, please feel free to contact your local sales representative. Thank you for your attention.